the realignment is coming in the college football world, and we've been seeing this for a while, right? So you got Oklahoma and Texas. They're getting set to join the SEC in 2025. Both those programs have been in the Big 12 since its inception in 1996. That same conference will add BYU, the Big 12 will, will add BYU, Cincinnati, UCF, and Houston beginning next year in 2023. The Bearcats, of course, coming off having made the playoff the first group of five team ever to do it. And two of the Pac-12's flagship teams now, USC and UCLA, are bolting and they're headed to the Big Ten, as you well know. So, this week, Nick Saban was on the Always College Football podcast. He had this to say. I think we're going to deal with it in, you know, a greater capacity than ever before uh, because I think mega conferences are probably here to stay. Everything we've always done in college football is to maintain competitive balance. Everybody had to play by the same rules and whether it was recruiting or whatever. Right now, that, that's, not, that, that's not how it is. So that was in an interview with our buddy Greg McElroy. Heather and Paul are with us here. Heather's at the media days. Paul is always ready to go. It was killing me inside when these stories broke last week, and I wasn't <laughs> here to talk to you two about them. But let, let's hear from you, Paul, Paul, quickly first. There's Saban, the most significant voice in the sport, saying we're headed towards trouble here. What do you think? First of all, Greeny, I love a guy who has won seven national championships, wants to go back to the way it used to be when he won every <laughs> other year, not maybe every other uh, three years. Um, He's 100% right. That's not breaking news. Uh, we are in a new era, and it's not done yet, Greeny. While you were over uh, you know, eating croissants and sipping tea and, and, and wine in Paris and Lisbon and, and London, we were watching college football blow up here in the States, and, and, and it has blown up. And, and the, the, the shockwaves still haven't come in yet, and, and it's, all about some, it's all about Notre Dame. But what he said in, in terms of the mega conferences is true. There are two conferences in college football right now that really matter, uh, and that's the SEC and the Big Ten. The Big 12 is really nice. Uh, hope they have a great media days. But they are not in the same league as the other two. And that brings us to Heather, who was there to cover those media days. Heather, how about it? What, what are you hearing from the people there ab about this? This is obviously the talk of the sport. What are you hearing, and what is your expectation for what's next? Well, Greeny, my sources in the Big 12 have told me that their presidents and chancellors are still very interested in adding Pac-12 teams. And so the question to me is, can the 10 teams left in the Pac-12 stay together, or can the Big 12 lure them away? Now, sources throughout the Big 10 have said that there's really not that much interest right now in adding beyond USC and UCLA, unless Notre Dame were to decide that it wanted to join a conference. They're still the X factor, but Jack Swarbrick has told me that they're in no rush to make any decision. They want to let the landscape settle. So, Greeny, quite honestly, I know Paul is very excited about college football exploding right now, but it might stay status quo. It might. I mean, if the Pac-12 can't add a Baylor or an Oklahoma State, which to me doesn't seem very realistic, then maybe it just stays at 10. So can they keep those 10 together? That's my big question right now. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.